channel um today i am really excited about this video sorry about missing last friday's upload but i'm here today um but today i'm gonna be showing you some pregnancy must-haves that have been quite essential to this pregnancy um i am 23 weeks today it is a little girl and i'm super excited and if you hear charlie i'm sorry he's meowing at the door first the first thing that I did when I found out that I was pregnant was find a prenatal that I felt comfortable taking and that wasn't extremely large because uh, I'm really bad at taking pills. So, at first I tried the Alive Gummies and that went terrible. Um, they taste like I was super nauseous and super queasy and all that at the beginning of pregnancy and so that taste just was like not happening for me. Anyway, so... I found this Nature Made Prenatal Multi Plus DHA. It looks like this. And this is the smaller pill. And guys, let me just show you what they mean by smaller pill. Um, the fact that that is the smaller pill, you can only imagine how big the actual size pill is. So, you know, it's a blessing that I found even like this small. But yeah, and also DHA helps support your baby's brain development and like eye development and all that. So it's super important. And some prenatals don't already come with it in it, so I had to specifically look for that. And yeah, this prenatal is pretty cool. The only thing that it lacks is um, vitamin D. Like, it doesn't give me enough vitamin D, so I have to take a different capsule for that. But that's just because I had my, uh, like, vitamin levels and everything tested, and that's what came back. So that's what I'm doing. Next, during pregnancy, I've always heard that you have to drink a lot of water, but I was never told that you're, like, dying of thirst 24-7. So, another must-have for me was definitely a water bottle. Um, I have to carry water with me everywhere I go, even next to my bed, like, at night, going to sleep, because I'm thirsty all the time. I'm literally thirsty just sitting here talking. <laughs> so, uh, and obviously, like, I'm growing a human, the human needs water as well. You know what I mean? So it's like a ton of water. So yeah, a water bottle is like 100% necessary. <laughs> so, um, for most women and girls, they try to do whatever they can to keep away from stretch marks during pregnancy because obviously like your body is stretching, your skin is stretching, you're again growing a human in your body. So, um, I've heard they're completely genetic. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I believe it. Whatever. Um, but if you don't moisturize your belly, your thighs, um, sometimes your booty and your boobies and all that, you know, if you don't moisturize that, then it can get really itchy because it is stretching. And so even past just like trying not to get stretch marks, more so I don't want to itch. <laughs> So, all of that was to show you some products that I've been using to, like, moisturize my skin. And so, the first one is, it's called LeBang Body, and it's a whipped body cream. It looks like this. It's really cute. Um, this scent is, uh, no, 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 no. I can't remember. It's Sunkissed or something like that. And it smells really good. It's super thick, as you can, well, I just stripped it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um... It's super thick, super moisturizing, so I either do this in the morning or at night. I, like, flip off between the two products I'm about to show you. My other, um, moisturize factor is definitely this LeBang Body, um, hydrating oil, and the vanilla sin is really, really good. Um, LeBang is actually an Australian company that just opened a store in the U.S. It's all online. I'll leave it linked down below because it's bomb. It's 100% natural, it's vegan, all that kind of stuff. But literally, all this has in it is coconut oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, avocado oil, and vanilla. So, I switch off between these two, and your girl hasn't gotten one stretch marks, and I'm 23 weeks. So, but again, who knows what's to come. <laughs> okay, so another thing that you really have to watch for during pregnancy is your charney is your um, protein 
intake. So what I do is I drink a lot of uh, smoothies, like protein smoothies, but I'm really weird about like whey protein, like all that like stuff. I don't know what's in it. I don't know. I don't play with that. So I use a uh, vegan protein. I like the chocolate flavor and then I just do bananas and peanut butter with some ice, blend it up. Make sure the bananas are frozen, by the way. Pro tip. Um, yeah, and it's just pea protein and cocoa, so. And all the ingredients are right here and they're super, super chill. So, yeah, so protein powder, you gotta get yourself a good protein powder because you're gonna need it. Now, um, during pregnancy, my hormones have been everywhere. One minute I'm like totally fine, then the next I'm like crying my face off. Um, you know, cause hormones. But it's just like that time of the month when you like crave chocolate and stuff. I have craved sweets so bad. And they say it's it shows that you're having a girl, which like I said, we're having a girl, so that's interesting. So another must have is definitely some chocolates. I just bought these little like individual packets, that way I don't eat the whole thing of M&Ms in one sitting, cause like your girl would. So we got these little fun size, and so whenever I'm like dying and need some chocolate, I got some chocolate so chocolate is definitely a must-have and then also once you get into your second trimester um, there's this tea that you can drink that helps strengthen your uterus this is TMI uh, it strengthens your uterus and then once you give birth your uterus is a little bit stronger it's easier to push it out whatever who knows if it actually works but again I'm willing to try anything to have a chill labor so it's called um, raspberry leaf tea looks like this um, and after you enter a second trimester, you can start drinking it, and hopefully by birth, you know, your baby comes out nice and easy. Obviously not easy, it's childbirth, but like hopefully like easier than it could be, you know what I mean? So yeah, so these are definitely pretty cool. This one is just called, uh, pregnancy tea, but it has red leaf, red raspberry leaf tea in it. So yeah. And then last but not least, um, before pregnancy, I didn't really have acne like ever, only around that time of cycle time and even then it wasn't ever bad but during pregnancy my face has become like a pimple nation so definitely a good concealer has been necessary um this one's okay it's the Maybelline New York one it's just like a drugstore one but also the NARS creamy concealer in vanilla that's a really good one too so that's all for my um pregnancy necessities um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, I have a lot of videos planned coming up, and I'm super excited to bring y'all along. So, make sure you subscribe. Okay, bye!